NVTV, your exclusive insight into all the action from Netball Victoria and the Melbourne Vixens. Let's see what's in store for today's episode. Joined by Monash Championship coach Matthew Hills. Matthew, a, uh, a tough loss tonight against the Burradaro Express, but how did you see the game? Yeah, look, when you score 11 goals in two quarters combined, which was the first and third quarters at this level, you don't really deserve to win. Um, we've uh, got a very new front end and uh, it's showing in regards to inconsistency, uh, uh, not able to put the score on the board in a consistent manner. Three rounds in and just five days of the competition. Uh, how have you seen the start to 2015? Look, I think again it's going to be a very tight competition. If you look at the results across the board, there's already been two draws, there's been a number of close games, so uh, early wins on the board are critical, so we've got a little bit of ground to make up. Up against the Sovereigns next week, and how are you going to prepare for that one? Oh look, I think it's just getting the, the consistent work on the track in regards to particularly our front end performance, how um, our positions link together, our goal of rotation and our feeders. Um, it's an area that we're just going to have to keep working on as the season progresses to get a better understanding. Matthew, thanks for your time. No worries, thanks. kitchen and today I'm going to take you through something that I have every single day. I love it. It's a green and smoothie. There's a lot of information out there about juices and things like that at the moment but this is what I find works best for me so maybe you can try it and see what works for you. So I have a lot of green stuff here. Most of my juice is about 90% green stuff and 10% fruit but you can incorporate whatever you like. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of options and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So first step is I just take a, um, about two to three kale leaves and I just break them up. And try and get as much as you can in. A handful of spinach straight in the blender. I put the grains in first so that it can mix up a little bit easier. If you put it up at the top, sometimes it doesn't um, it's not as refined, so there's sometimes chunky bits, so I always put the green stuff in first. Next is some celery, so... So, straight in with the celery. I have a really good blender, so I don't have to chop it up as much as maybe I would in another blender. But I love celery, it's a great snack. Um, obviously they say food is great medicine, and food... Um, celery, for instance, is like your bones, so it's really, really good for your bones. Um, so definitely chuck some of that in. It can, you might not like celery, but once it's in a blender or in a smoothie, kind of you don't really notice it at all. Um, so make sure you just add it in with a few other things that you like, and I'm sure it will be fine. Next on is an apple. Apple just gives it a nice bit of juiciness. I love a good apple. Pink ladies are my favourite, but if you want to go green again, go for a green apple. Chop that up. Oh, lemon. Lemon, I love a little bit it to be a little bit sour, but it also just gives a nice freshness to the juice. So now comes the fun bit where you can choose whatever kind of liquid you want to go in. Sometimes I'll use um, just cold water. So other times I'll use coconut water. Usually about a quarter of the water. You can see if it's a bit too thick for you, just keep adding water as you go. Um, it's totally up to you whether you want it a little bit thick or you like it a little bit more smoother and more liquid like. It's not only really good because I get obviously my amount of fruit and veg in one serving and it's all also like a drink so it's really really convenient for me when I'm on the go or if I'm at the gym or training before in the morning. The other thing is I find it's really really good for my skin and complexion. It makes um, gives you quite a natural glow um, and I find that as I said 
over time, after after you do about two or three in in a day or in a week, sorry, two or three in a week, um, you'll you'll definitely see some noticeable differences. Auto Club members can enjoy 25% off full accommodation rates at any RACV resort all year round. Hi, this is Jim Mentor from the Melbourne Bitsons. Really excited about our first game on the 1st of March at Margaret Court Arena. Hope to have all our members and fans come along, support us and cheer us on. And hopefully we'll go for another season with a banner like this. watching NBTV, I'm Maddie Robinson and I hope to see you at the next Melbourne Vixens home game.